In this video, we're going to take a look at what's called population games. Now, population games are a very, very powerful aspect of game theory, often just referred to as evolutionary game theory, where the players are no longer what we're interested in. We're interested in the strategies and the strategies within a population that, that might survive or not. So, for example, we could have um, a population of uh, 200 dots there, I believe, 200 players. Um, some of which are playing the red strategy, some of which are playing the green strategy, and over time, perhaps the red strategy takes over. So this could be technology. So, for example, the number of people that use a particular type of games console. And perhaps over time, it makes sense for everybody to use the red games console. Um, so in that example, we had a strategy set, S was red or green. If every player... Uh, plays the mixed strategy sigma equals 0.25 and 0.75, then chi, which is what's called the population vector, would be 0 0.25, 0 0.75. In other words, what is the distribution of the strategy within our population? But we could alternatively have that 25% of the players play red, in which case chi would also be 0 0.25 and 0 0.75. Another said chi is called a population vector. So what we need to consider is the utility of a strategy. So utility of a mixed strategy in a population chi is given by this expression here. So we sum over all pure strategies and um, we simply weight by the utility of that pure strategy within a population. And we can interpret sigma, uh, sorry, we can interpret this utility to be the number of descendants of sigma. So here's a little example. If we had an initial population, um, 1.9, and we had uh, these utilities. So the utility of playing red is uh, three reds plus one. The utility of playing green is two thirds of green. Then over time, we'd see that the reds would take over. And this leads to another very important idea, which is whether or not a strategy is evolutionary stable. So if we introduced a very small proportion of another strategy into the population, what would happen? Would our population fly out of control? Or, or would it not? Well, an evolutionary stable strategy is a strategy that if everyone's playing um, this evolutionary stable strategy and we introduce another strategy at a small enough number, so below within, so as long as we can find this epsilon bar, then the utilities is always better for our sigma star, which is the one we tested for evolutionary stability, then sigma star is an evolutionary stable strategy. To illustrate this, say we have a population of, of reds, and now we introduce some blues. We introduce quite a lot of blues. Well, perhaps over time the blues would take over. But if we have that same population of reds and we introduce a much smaller number of blues, well, maybe there's enough blues now that, sorry, enough reds that they would still overcome the blues. And so here we would say that red is indeed a, an evolutionary stable strategy.